I get asked often, like, what is letterpress? So what I wanted to do is um, show you guys different ways that I print here in the shop. To do that, I have my initials, which if you look, um, are backwards. I also have all these plates. And um, so this is a plate that I have of my logo. Uh, this is etched in copper. Um, and with letterpress printing, you're printing on the raised edges. So you can see my pineapple really good there. That will be printed. So one method that I use in the shop for printing is just really quickly using um, things that you have around the house. You can use a wooden spoon. Um, and I have a cloth. Now I'm just gonna transfer the ink to the type. So the main thing here is that we don't want to move anything underneath it. So I'm just going to set my finger on here so I can feel it and that won't mess with anything as long as we're keeping the stuff underneath really stiff. But there you go, printing letterpress just with a wooden spoon. So that's one method, quick and dirty, you're not going to do 100 cards like this. Uh, but what we'll do next is go over to my proof press. You can see it's a bigger machine. It's going to get a better image and it's going to allow us to lock it up and we can do lots of printing really quickly. Normally we would use uh, furniture, uh, which is either steel or wood furniture, to lock it into place. Uh, right now we're just going to use magnets and kind of do quick and dirty of a different sort. All right, got everything locked in there. Um, this cylinder right here, which has kind of got a rubber base on it and big giant wheels, rolls across the image. So it's kind of like the spoon that we had in the previous example. And then next, instead of using a towel or a cloth, we're gonna use what's called a brayer. Um, it has the rubber on there that'll transfer the ink from our palette onto the letters. Next thing is our sheet of paper. And then this is a book board to put on top, just to add a little extra pressure. And then that was the contact. Uh, the image is pretty clean. You can see the lines in there really well. This is great for, let's say, 50 posters or something like that. From here, if you wanted to do more than that, you're gonna need a really good registration system where you know that the paper is going in the same spot, you know where the type is, you know where the images are, nothing's moving around. So now we'll just kind of move over to the Chandler and Price uh, press. And so really the couple things are still the same here. We have ink, we have my letters, which are all locked up. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna lock it right up in here. This is where the paper will be, and this will be our wooden spoon, and it'll sandwich the two together and create that pressure. Now this is not automatic. I'm going to spin it with my arm every single time. I'll go nice and slow. So you can see that I can get a lot of images really quickly with this press. And it's a really clean, crisp image uh, every time. But there you go, my initials and a logo. Thank you.